Welcome back to Custom Robo, but first, a word from Harry. Good work! Uh-oh, one of the police guys just blew it. Go over there and clean up his mess! Oh, come on, I just knocked that loser out. Don't he deserve a break? Alright, listen up. That guy ought to be worn out from his fight, too. If you listen to my advice, you should be able to beat him. Use the R button to fire bombs and the L button to launch an attack pod. Firing your pod doesn't stop your movement. Run at your opponent and keep on pressing the L button. Use the R button to drop bombs and use the L button to blast the pod. Got it? Got it. Okay, and one more thing. If you get caught in your own pod blast, it'll take damage. Drop the bomb, blast the pod! Yeah, I had to re-record this since my Wii was being stupid and had an error. I hate those Something I feel like mentioning when you're down. Like, when you're down, you actually take about a third less damage than normal, I think it was. I'm not sure. Not bad for an amateur. We lost another cop! Take the next guy! Police squad ain't nothing. Still, I did break a sweat. He looks pretty tired. If you listen to my advice, you should be able to win. Try using the A button to jump. You can do an air dash twice with the robo you're using. Just press the A button during the jump. You can charge with the X button. You'll be able to knock your opponent down with one hit. A robo can't move when it's down because its systems need to reboot. Use the A button to jump and the X button to charge. CRASH! Got it. Got it. You can only cha charge when you're on the ground. It won't work when you're in the air. JUMP AND CRASH! I think after this fight is when you get your first new part. I'm not too sure though. I think your first new part, new part is the standard F pod. I'm not sure, but I think that's what it was. That is that fight over and done with. Ugh. I really need more stuff to talk about. Like, I was too quiet there. You now have access to the Twin Flame part F. Oh, so it's that. I knew it was some sort of F part, I just wasn't sure what. 
Well, I think you still need some more, but well done. There goes another one! The Blee Squad's not doing a thing! Hey, last one! Before you take him on, go over to the parts generator and get yourself some new parts. Parts generator? I'll explain later. Just stand in front of it and press the A button. You'll get a new part, one that you can use right away. Got it. And just go in front of that machine and press the A button, right? Right. There's one more guy left. You can do it. Twin Flank Pod at. I don't really use this pod series, but... Anything's better than standard, so... I'll change it. Now let's go take on the last guy. Well, what happened here? I turned back for one second and all my men get wiped out. I'm worn out, but we need that robo. The last guy's exhausted. This should be easy as cake. Still, you better listen to my advice. Use the control stick to change the direction of the robo cube when it lands. When the cube hits the ground, the number shows how long it needs to charge for the transformation. The speed to charge up, tap the controller buttons rapidly. If you transform before your opponent, you'll get to attack first. Use the control stick to aim the robo cannon where you want to shoot and then tap the buttons. Got it? Got it. Okay, last one. Go get it. Turn, tapity zoom zoom, jumpity jump, bang bang, boom boom blam, crash! So this is essentially the last fight you have to do to clean up the burglars. Let's see. Oh, come on! I got the first attack. Now that was an awesome combo I just did right there. As far as how you use twin flank pods, you want to use them behind a wall so they can move into your opponent. Come on, seven elf. And that is that guy down, and we have officially beat all of the burglars. You now have access to the freeway gun. Go visit the parts generator. Okay, we got all of them. You're not that bad. But yeah, Freeway Gun was the most broken weapon in the DS version, and you'll want to switch to it as soon as you can, cause it outclassed just basic completely. You okay, Harry? God, what did you get here? What? Did you eat your head? Listen, the reason you got beaten is because you're not properly trained. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. You need to get out of the mercenary business. Start studying, get a Class A license, and join the police squad. Oh, don't start on that again. I told you I wouldn't be caught dead in one of those tacky uniforms. Look, pay all your exam fees. It won't cost you a dime. Come on, what do you say? It's not about the money. I just don't like studying. Captain Myra, we've sent the criminals over to HQ. We ought to head back there ourselves. Can't really need to open those bounty hunters. We'll make sure that the police squad members present at this Travis you will the training room hard. Captain Myra, we should get back to HQ. I'll be waiting at the front gate. See ya, Harry. I'll be working late. So don't wait up for me. Get some sleep. And keep yourself warm when you catch when you go to bed. You don't want to catch a cold. She always treats me like I'm a kid. Is that your older sister? Yeah, jeez. She's always acting so macho. It really freaks me out. Uh, not that it's any of your business. Harry, are you hurt? 
Linda! Yeah, I'm okay. Never felt better. By the way, Harry, who is this? I've never seen him before. Is he new? Um, well, it's all what it takes to become a great commander someday. Still, he's got a long way to go. Oh, I totally agree, Linda. It's so... you're so observant like that. It's incredible. A great commander? Sheesh. Say, Harry. I got an idea. How about letting him use our new robo, Rail One? He adapted it pretty quickly. I'd like to gather some data on his usage and control integration. What? This guy? He's not really with us. He came by today looking for work. The chief doesn't want to hire him, though. Oh, really? I'll recommend that Ernest Iron myself, then. I can't wait to see his face, so we can go ahead and take this Rail One? Sure, go ahead. He's already registered, so he's only the one who can use it right now. I'm cutting out now. Goodbye.